So we have this question given as, given that p vector plus q vector is equal to p vector minus q vector, this can be true when first option p is equal to q vector, your second option q vector is a null vector, third option neither p vector nor q vector is a null vector and your fourth option is p vector is perpendicular to q vector. Now many of the students get confused between the options to the second option and the fourth option. So what we'll be doing is that we'll be exploring all of the four options and then we'll talk about as to why fourth is wrong and why second is correct. Okay. But let's talk about the first first option right first. So it is given p vector is equal to q vector. If we, if we replace the ve uh, value of q vector by p vector, it will be p vector plus p vector is equal to p vector minus p vector, right? I have replaced q vector by p vector. So you're getting 2p vector is equal to null vector, which is wrong, right? <laughs> Obviously. So your first option is wrong. Talking about the second option. Your second option is q vector is a null vector, right? Second is q vector is a null vector. Now, if we place uh, the value of q vector as null vector, it would be p vector plus null vector, zero vector is equal to p vector minus null vector, right? And this is obviously true, right? So your second option will be your answer, but we'll be talking about third and fourth option as well. Now, fourth option is neither p nor q is a null vector. So none of uh, the vectors are null vector. So let's assume I take two vectors as p and one as q. So this is p and this is q. And we have to satisfy this equation, right? So p plus q, the resultant of p, p plus q would be something like this, right? Let's call it, call it r1, right? r1 vector. Now p minus q, what would be p minus q? Minus q, it can, p minus q can also be written as like this, right? So you have to reverse the direction of q vector. So q vector is facing this side, right side. It has to be on the left side, right? So I'm taking minus q vector like this. Now the addition, now the resultant p vector plus minus q vector. You have got minus q vector, you have got p vector. Now the resultant of these two vectors would be facing this side, right? Somewhere along this. And this vector and this vector might be, they might be equal to each other in magnitude, but obviously they are in different directions. So your third option is wrong. Now talking about fourth option. So, you, so your fourth option is p is perpendicular to q vector. P, p vector is perpendicular to q vector. Right. So you've got your q vector, suppose like this. And you've got p vector. Now to, so, now to satisfy this equation, I have seen, I have assumed that these two vectors are perpendicular to each other, right? Now p plus q, the resultant of p plus q would be like this. And the resultant of p minus q, again, if we, we will have to, now it is minus q. I have taken this as q, so I'll have to reverse it. So this will be your minus q vector. And the resultant of p plus, and in brackets, minus q vector, I'm talking about this thing, p plus minus q vector would be, this side, somewhere along this side. So you've got your first uh, e equations uh, result in this side, facing this side, and your second equations result in facing this side. So obviously your fourth option is wrong. Now what do students do? They misrepresent the question given. So what they do, do is take out the magnitudes, but in the question itself, they are not talking about magnitudes. They haven't said that the given question, the given question is like this. No, they are not asking this. They haven't asked you if the resultant of p plus q vector is equal to the resultant of uh, magnitude of the resultant of p vector minus q vector. No, they haven't. Okay. They have simply asked if the resultant vector 
suppose the resultant vector is r1 for this one and r2 for this one and r1 vector should be equal to r2 vector not their magnitudes no not their magnitude simply r1 vector has to be equal to r2 vector and for vectors to be equal they have to be equal in terms of magnitude and also direction right so these you have to satisfy these two these both when students apply this thing they assume that p the the question is given p p vector plus q vector is equal to p vector minus q vector they assume they are talking uh, the question is talking out about only magnitude no you have to see the direction as well because if you take out the magnitudes your vector is not going to be equal you have to your vector both of your vectors the resultant vectors have to be equal in terms of both direction and magnitude right so this is why your second option is correct and your fourth option is not correct if you still have any doubts comment down below and i'll be sure to answer you thank you so much